Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. Two line segments meet at a right angle. In the corner, construct a circle that's tangent to each of the line segments. Then construct an identical circle above this first circle, so it's tangent to the first circle and tangent to the left line segment. Then construct a third circle that's also identical to the first circle and make this third circle tangent to the first circle and tangent to the bottom line segment. Now construct a fourth circle that's tangent to both line segments and tangent to the second and third circles. If the radius of this large circle is equal to one, what is the radius of each small circle? I thank Umesh for the suggestion. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try and keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. Recall, if two circles are tangent, their centers and the tangent point are collinear. That's because the tangent line through T will be perpendicular to the radius AT, and the tangent line through T will also be perpendicular to the radius BT. Therefore, ATB is a straight line segment. That's true for both externally and internally tangent circles. Now, let's solve the problem. To make things easier to see, let's zoom on the bottom left corner. Construct the center of each circle. The large circle has a radius that's equal to 1. Suppose the radius of each small circle has length equal to r. Then, if we construct this line segment, it will span 3 radius lengths, so its length will be equal to 3r. Now, construct the following vertical radius of the large circle. It will be perpendicular to the horizontal line segment. Now, connect the center of the third circle and make a horizontal to this vertical radius. We've constructed a rectangle. Therefore, we can compute the following length. The purple and peach line segments together have a length equal to 1. Therefore, the peach line segment has a length equal to 1 minus 3r. Next, the following length will be equal to r which means this length will be equal to 1 minus r. From here, connect the center of the large circle to the center of the third circle. One length will be equal to 1, and the other length will be equal to r. We can now focus on the following right triangle. We know the length of each of its sides. One leg is equal to 1 minus r, the other leg is equal to 1 minus 3r, and the hypotenuse is equal to 1 plus r. Since we have a right triangle, here we go again. We have the quantity 1 minus 3r squared plus the quantity 1 minus r squared is equal to the quantity 1 plus r squared. We can expand each binomial and then collect like terms. We have a quadratic equation. This is easily factorable. One factor will be 9r minus 9, and the other factor will be r minus 1 over 9. This gives the two solutions that r is equal to 1 and r is equal to 1 over 9. But recalling that the radius of the big circle is equal to 1, we can eliminate the solution that r is equal to 1 because we know the radius of each small circle will be less than the radius of the big circle. Therefore, the radius of each small circle is equal to 1 over 9. And that's the answer. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems one video at a time.